Hello. Hello, everybody. And Welcome to the Dapper D's, the only show where you get the show before the show. <laughs> <laughs> so, so here's the show that we're actually doing, today, or was actually planned to be done today before my the internet and power in my entire neighborhood went out. So Everything that was decided kind of to fail. And it, it just failed like five minutes before the stream was supposed to start. Yeah. Don't worry. Power power came back 30 minutes later. Internet came back 30 minutes after that. So here we are. Welcome. I'm Dippy. I'm Dadley. And I'm Dono. And we're the Dabberties. So. The, the only show where every episode is in 3D, but you can't see it because you're wearing the wrong kind of glasses. That's even better. <laughs> I love it. So, Hold on, I need to do an intro now too. Welcome Go to the Japanese. Yeah. Welcome to the Japanese. The only show that you can't find on Wikipedia. <laughs> yeah. We don't. So we already did all the ad though. reads and everything really? like that. We're just gonna get right into the meat of this episode. Well, I mean, this is technically a new episode because I started Japanese a new. Home. I'm not doing another ad read. We're not doing that. Go thing. by dummy. Yeah. Use uh, coupon code AnyPod. Uh, support us. <laughs> Get wired. Go buy Dubby. Dubby.gg uh, and use code Antipod. So and nobody, nobody tell Dono or nobody tell Dippy that I said topic of today's episode in the ad read. You son of a bitch. Did you actually? I'll be real. We didn't do the ad read. I just kind of like went off the top of the head because okay. Okay. I it was, we are rushing. You didn't do the script. So, I didn't okay, do the script. It was more like freeform jazz, honestly. Yeah, so. freeform <laughs> jazz. All right. So. Wikipedia speedruns. Dadly, you proposed this episode. Do you have a yes! brief explanation? Did it say yes? Uh, so Wikipedia <laughs> speedruns are this idea of you pull a random Wikipedia article and then you pull, and that is your starting point. Mm -hmm. And then you pull a random Wikipedia article that is your end point. And only using the in, like in links within the text, you can get article to article and you want to try to get from one to the other. So Normally it's as fast as possible we're doing it with the least amount of clicks because we're going to be working as a team right and i can easily hit a random article with alt shift x oh andrew neat. barr is an australian politician who has been serving as the seventh chief minister of the australian capital territory since 2014. And so I, we're tr so we're trying to get a random article so we're yeah. trying to get from andrew barr to whatever dadley decides is the random article that we end up at Italian ship of San Mar San Mar Marco. San Marco. Yeah. The Italian, Italian ship, of San, ship Marco. of San Marco. Hmm. Is it a, is it more than a stub? Like, is it just kind of a, like a stub, like one paragraph article? It is. It takes up the entire screen. It is a little longer okay. than one page. Okay, that's fair. See, yeah. I be a little concerned with. I think the way that we preferably do this is that it's going from one like article that's at least fills up one page yes to another yeah. one like instead of a you know instead yeah. of a page to a stub or a stub to a yeah. page like absolutely because stubs are Actually, so starting, hard to work with starting on a stub is totally fine starting on a stub could work yeah ending on a stub almost impossible yeah <laughs> dono where'd the music go i oh. need to bring music no, oh, I can. Needs to oh, Donald will play music didn't... for the stream. Yeah. Yes. But I just won't have music on my end. That's fine. I can have music playing. Because you know, because you're gonna end my share if you share with us, right? Sound while other participants are screen sharing. That's bull. Yeah. That's below. That's well, That's stream will hear dumb. the music. Yeah, they can hear the music. They can chill. Well, with tell it. us if it's too loud. We can't hear. Yeah. It. <laughs> exactly. So. So from Andrew Barr to the Italian ship San Marino? San the Mar Italian Marco. ship of San Marco. Yes. Okay. The entire, like the, the full name, Italian ship San Marco, L9893. And I don't L9893. know what that means. I think that might be like a Navy designation. So. Okay. Oh, that's fun. Barr is the first openly LGBTI head of government in Australia. Good for him. There you go. Very I'd fun. go to the bar with him. The, ha, ha, ha! I wonder yeah. if he owns a bar called the Andrew Bar. You think he uses his last name as a pickup line? Oh, probably. Hey, you want to come to the bar? 
You want to come down to the bar? I bet, I bet he has a pet bird that is all black, and he can use it to do different jobs around the house, calling it his crowbar. <laughs> God damn it! Oh, no! All right, so. Okay. So. Th uh, I'm trying to figure so, out if there's an easy way to have a timer on here, too. We're no, going no, can for you clicks. add? Can, can you add? Oh, never mind. A click. Yeah. Counter. We're okay. going for clicks. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. right. So. So right off the back, my first thought is, can we just find a link for Australia? Three, two, one, go. Probably so. Australian uh, National University. Uh, Australian Labor Party. My Australian Labor Party would probably be really easy just to get to Australia. Known as the Act Party. Okay. Is they not mm. just Australia? No. Let's see. Australia, right there. Canberra. Okay. Sure. Capital of Australia. Okay. So, oh, Australia. So, what was that? That was one, will... two, three clicks? Yes. I will keep a click counter. I literally have a click counter downloaded on my phone. So, I will. So, that was one, two, three clicks. Three clicks yeah. to get to Australia. Not so great so far. All right. Now, to get from Australia to Italy. New Holland. Geography. Name first to play in Dutch. Probably New Holland. That might not be a bad idea. New Holland? Where did you see New Holland? Uh, go up. Back up to the top? No, just like it's in the middle section. Oh. Where the fuck is it? New Ninja. South Wales? Oh, Great Britain. Great hey. Britain. <laughs> Great <laughs> I uh, Italy. 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 Roman Catholic House of yeah. Steward? Oh, hello. Roman Catholic. Uh, so that's Vatican five. City? Vatican City. I wonder if there's actually is like Italy in here though. No, Vatican City's in the middle of Italy. Yes. Uh Rome. Ital Italian? Rome, Italy. Okay. Boom. Okay, so, we made it to Italy. So we made it to Italy in how many clicks? Like nine? Seven. 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 Okay. Yeah. Seven. So we are trying to find a boat. The Italian ship so, San Marco? Yes. Is it cheating if I look at the end article? No, no. I don't think no. it is. So I will read you the, the first sentence of the article is all I'll read. Well, um, while, yeah, I was about to say, yeah. while I'm looking, you can just read yeah. the article a little bit. Uh, Get these San, people educated. Yeah. San Marco, L9893. It's the second ship of the San Gorgigo class landing platform dock of the Italian Navy. It's a Navy ship. Uh, uh, the Italian Navy. NATO? Here we go. No. Yeah, I, Navy also known as the Santi class since the three units of them are composed School of the ships, Saints. minesweepers... Peace uh, Treaty Palacio to the It's Union. not a train it was, ship, is it? It was it was made in 1985 and it launched in 1987. So probably and it look was... at... Oh sorry. Structure Core Fleet. Nope. nope. Italian Navy. In the summer of 2006, the Navy was List of active of Italian the... Navy ships. Here we go. None of them are act it's not active though. Aha! It might be active. The Italian ship San Marco! We did there it. we go! Nine clicks! We did it! Nine clicks! Nine clicks! Wait, right? Bad. Because we got to Italy in seven? Yes. No. Ten clicks. Italian oh, Navy, clicks. list of active Italian Navy ships. Oh, Sandwich. okay. Yeah. Woohoo! There we go. There ten we go. Can that was we easy! Beat it? Can yeah, we beat ten clicks? <laughs> ten clicks. Can we beat ten clicks? You helped out a lot, actually, Dono. You. you helped yes, you quite did. a bit. Thank you. Um, I did help. <laughs> yeah, the Italian ship San Marco. Very nice. Okay. So, should we just start from San Marco or do another random article? I would do another random article. All right. Because, yeah. Oh, uh, shift X. Pull up a random Let's article. try something a little longer than this. I also oh, no, wait, no. Actually, we can start from uh, stuff. Hop, we just yeah. have to get to Hop something else. Hapustatal. Is the easternmost part of the Puster Valley, stretching from the watershed of the Rhines and Drava rivers at Niederdorf in South Tyrol down the Drava to Lines in East Tyrol 
Austria. We have an Austrian town to start this, with. This might be difficult. Oh boy, what are we trying to get to? Chris Ottoman Neville, a sci-fi American author from the from the 1920s. Born 1925, died 1980. Where is he An from? American sci-fi author. Yes, Chris so we have to Ottoman go from Neville. Huck Where Huster is he Tom from? To Chris California. Ottoman California? Oh okay, cool. All All right. Right. in St. Louis. Three, two, one, go! London Pact. 1915. Maybe we can get to the 1920s from here. You can do the United Kingdoms or World War. We have to. World War, War One. World, yeah, World, World War One would at least get us to America. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the United States. There we go. So that's three clicks already. A, yeah. Can we just like yeah. find a list of all the states? I was about to say. I'm pretty sure I can just find California somewhere in here. Geography. Oh, follow up question: Is Control F cheating? Uh, yes, I would say okay. Control F is a little cheaty. Okay. Denali, Yellowstone, Rockies, climate. Oh There's god. There's Sierra Nevada. Sierra Nevada. Sierra Nevada. That's part of Sierra Nevada. Is is that in California? Yes. Yes, it is. California. All right. It's not in Nevada. No. I mean, it is in Nevada, but it's also in California. Oh. It's it's yeah. So we're in California now. How do we get okay. to this oh, author? Culture. <laughs> Oh, we could have like skipped by just going to Europe and then colonization. <laughs> like, totally. we skipped a lot. Probably. Um, so All from right. California. I just realized this this might have not been the best route. It might not have been. Uh we should have gone to authors instead of to California. Yeah. Yeah. Unless there's like I was thinking culture. There might be something about like California is really big on culture, culture. And stuff. Media and entertainment. Well, media and entertainment is fucking Hollywood. California yeah. is just going to be Hollywood. No, but uh, what if there's something about authors in it? Film industry, film studios, music in California, amusement parks, big five Ooh. technology companies? No. Many British bands such as Led Zeppelin fucking... We could have started with music. <laughs> Settled in the state after becoming internationally famous. God. Oh, uh, boy. Ugh. Uh, brother, brother, Where boy. is he from in California? Uh, I don't know. Just said California. No, that's dumb. He d it doesn't have a friggin'... doesn't have like a... It, I don't know. Is St. Louis in California? Born in... Excuse me? St. Louis, Hello? California? Is there a St... Yeah, I was gonna. Is it a St. Louis, California? Like, that's weird. Languages. Oh, lang, lang, uh, lang English, English. Do we want to go to English language? Uh, sure. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Never mind. Maybe not. Yeah. This guy wrote so many books. Writers God. attend to do that. Why did we pick? <laughs> it was a good idea, but we should not have gone to. The state of California. Yeah, no, the, well, uh, what year? 1920s. 1920s. Okay, go down. Well, no, he was born in the 1920s. So, mm. like, he was born in the 1920s. He he was releasing books between, like, in the 19 late 50s, early 60s. So he waited till his 30s. The United States Census of 1950. No, not the U.S. Census. Culture, Western culture, sports. Sports. The MLR. What is that? Oh, special, what oh he, cool. Oh. What did he specialize in? Sci-fi. Like, sci-fi? Yeah, he was so, a sci-fi. So, like, movies and then going to sci-fi? Oh, yeah, duh. Okay, so... So, film... Studio? Animation? Uh, yeah. Hold on. Uh, U.S. film industry? Cinema in the United States. That might not work. Hollywood... Oh god. Internet media, social media. Media big in Los five, Angeles. Big five movie or big, big five, five major, major film, film studios. studios. Could get us into Okay, that's another click. Yep. That is uh the these clicks within yeah, the that, history yeah. don't count because they're just jumping yeah, across yeah. the article. Uh, We're at four clicks. One, two, three, four, five clicks. It's so, oh, five. Okay. I guess if you count this one, it's six. 
So, dawn of filmmaking. History of film. Mm, no. Films. There so, we go. I film. will be... Uh, I've been off. I'll be right back. My children just got home. Okay. Okay. Give me one second. So, this is six... Seven? Film. History. Etymology. History. Genre? Celluloid. Motion pictures. Earliest evolution. <gasps> oh, stop. Uh, sound film, silent films, visual uh, art, visual art, pianist, or score, organist, color, art. influence of television, 1960s, film theory, seeks to develop concise and systematic concepts. When did sci-fi be? Sci-fi started being a thing actually in the 1950s, right? It, sci-fi was definitely like, like. I mean, Return obviously, not like... Oh! Science fiction film! Here we go. Aha! Oh, God. Wait, how do we get to sci-fi writing from here? Probably books based on sci-fi or Sci-fi movies based on books. Yeah, 2001 A Space Odyssey. That's the film, but how about the book based on the film? List of science fiction films? No. Oh! A film adaptation of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, the book. Okay, so that's definitely the book. Mm -hmm. German films. Those are films. How many clicks are we at? Uh, we two more. I've only clicked... Two I more. clicked from major film studio was six, so seven okay. and eight. I'm on sci-fi okay. film. Sci-fi film. Okay. Film's novel. No, that's the film. That's not the book. That's the film. The film. film. The film, the film. When I just see the list film. of sci-fi films, and then <clears throat> we can see if any of those are based off of authors. Well, but like, to... I could click on any one of these, yeah. and it would go to the film, which would be based on the book. But I'm trying to see if I can just get straight to science fiction books. Oh, okay. Twenty thousand leagues under the sea. Jules Verne's famous novel. Jules Verne would take us to authors. It would. Jules Verne. Hmm. Novelist, poet, playwright, voyages extraordinaire, around the world in 80 days. See, these are all pre. Yeah. This guy that we're trying to get to. The father of science fiction. Science fiction. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. So in. Six, seven, eight, we're nine, at ten. ten. We're at ten clicks on science fiction. Oh my goodness. Authors. Oh boy. Definitions Authors. of science fiction? Uh, authors. Where? Um, law, it's the... Under communities, it's on the side. Oh, right, authors. List of science fiction authors, here we go. All right, what's this guy's name again? This man's name is... Chris Ottoman Neville. Neville, N, N. Chris, yeah, oh, okay, I was gonna... Chris with a K, by the way. Yes. Neville. Chris Neville. Chris Neville, there Ottman. we go. We Chris Ottman Neville. Oh, oh, thank God. God. 12 we clicks. 12 clicks. That's not bad. And we're American learning. Science fiction writer from California. He was born in St. Louis. <laughs> That's one. incredible. His period was from 1949 to 1976, and he wrote. If you scroll all the way down, there's a big list of everything he wrote. I've never heard of any of them, but... Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, real short hmm. story guy. Mm. Yeah. Sci-fi short stories. Absolutely. Good hydrate. Everybody hydrate. Random. Oh, God. Who the hell is this? <laughs> Gertie Colomb. A Mauritian footballer. Who currently plays as forward for Petit Riviere Noir SC in the Mauritian League. <laughs> So, a football player, or as we would call it, a soccer player. Mm -hmm. From here to... Oh, no, we're not doing that. That is sad. We're not ending on a stub. We can begin on a stub. We can't end on a stub. I pulled up a genocide? I don't want to. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe no, not you. a genocide. We're not trying to promote genocide on this channel. What is this? Okay, I'm gonna send it to the Zoom because I don't know how to pronounce this. I'll read a little bit of the article so we have an understanding. Sure. Someone can tell me how to pronounce that. Uh, I would say that you Bartitsu? Bartitsu. Bartitsu. 
An electric martial art style and self-defense method originally developed in England Ooh. in 1898 to 1902, combining elements of boxing, jujitsu, cane fighting, and French kickboxing. Wow. Okay. That's dumb. So, from Gertie Colomb to Bartitsu. Bartitsu. In three, two, one, go. Footballer. I imagine. Yeah, footballer. Sport. Yeah. Right? Uh, like so, fighting? Yeah. Team yeah. sport. Team sport? Is there a way to get Dude, just fighting a Fighting is not a team goal? sport. No, a no. goal. Just a goal! <laughs> a goal! Uh-oh. I was oh, kidding. Oh, sport's not highlighted. Oh, God. Hmm. Um, goalkeeper placed... Let's see. Kicker? Uh, scroll no. down. See if there's anything else. Kicking. Handball, ice hockey, ice handball? hockey, handball. Mm -hmm. I love handball. Netball, polo, uh, water polo, water polo, oh, water polo. Ice hockey has people who hit people all the time. Ice right? hockey has, but it has an yeah. also has that. Uh, fights, injury. Ooh, okay, that's not a bad one to go with. How many clicks are we in so far? This is still within ice hockey. Yes. Oh, oh God. We're four clicks in? Goaltenders. Protective gear. Three clicks in. Three. Olympics? Officials, no, icing. fighting is in the Olympics. <laughs> boxing MMA is in the not... Olympics. Is no, no boxing yeah, boxing is in the Olympics. Wait, that's absolutely right. Hold on. So boxing, we can go to the Olympics. Yeah, yeah boxing is an Olympic sport. Um. Substitution and entire... Wait, whoa, whoa. Slap Olympics. boxing should be added to the Olympics, by the way. No, it should not. <laughs> yes. It it really shouldn't. The modern Olympic Games. Here we go. Okay. Sports. 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 Go sports ball. Welcome right. to the Deputies. Sports. Wrestling. Welcome to the Wrestling. 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 Where? 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 Top line. Wrestling. Very end of it. Top line. Wrestling. Wrestling. Perfect. Okay. I just gotta find something. How do we get from here? Greco Roman wrestling is the type is the type of wrestling that's usually you know, seen. Then there's freestyle wrestling. Um oh, I forgot I have a image thing. Ooh. <laughs> An image enlarger. Hmm. The nineteen hundreds Summer Olympics. There we go. Okay. Freestyle wrestling. I guess. Okay. This is definitely closer. Oh, here we go. Uh judo, yes. sambo. Sambo martial art? No. Martial uh, art? Sambo is a completely different not type of martial art compared to judo. Judo. Judo uh, is touch. Yeah. Sambo, well, I mean, modern it's Japanese touch, but martial yeah. art. Oh, you want to go yeah. to the Brazilian uh, form of Brazilian, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu or shit. Fun fact that's why my initials are BJJ because my dad really liked Brazilian way, Jiu Jitsu. Uh, oh, right down there. Uh, no, Descendant Arts on the sidebar. Oh, whoa. Hello. Where? The side. On the sidebar, where the dudes are like grappling or holding each other. Oh yeah. Go down. Look at those two gentlemen. Go down. <laughs> they look so dignified. That's at the very bottom there. Oh, descending. Yeah, descendant arts. There it is. Wait, 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 wait. There it is. There. Hey! Holy Six crap! Clicks. Seven clicks. Wait, that right? one. Yeah. Well, uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. seven eight. So it took eight, eight to get to Barty to yeah. itself. Yeah. So there you go. Look at that. We could have made that it was, a lot. I'm actually space. really That's impressed awesome, with us. Dippy, I Dono, just want you... you to know that you could have done it a lot quicker if you chose not like. I think you went from like wrestling to judo. You could have gone straight to Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Yeah, I could have. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I was like, gone to... uh, no, you went to freestyle wrestling. Yeah. Instead of wrestling of summer wrestling Olympics, wrestling at the summer Olympic. Yeah. Dono's really trying to. But Dono has been the right Dono has yeah. been the closer here for quite a bit. Well, you guys like, did. No, Dono's killing it. <laughs> he's been closing these out. Yeah. You guys did wrestling and fucking no close. But also, shit. how cool is mixing cane fighting with jujitsu? I know, right? That makes sense. Oh my god! I imagine Archib that they put a little bit of that in uh, the Sherlock Holmes films. Wait, Wait actually, what? yeah, absolutely. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wait, what? Look at this guy's name. Archibald Stuart Charles Stuart McLaren. <laughs> he, this man has two Stuarts in his name. 
was an early British aviator who led the British attempt to win the race between nations to make the first aerial circumnavigation of the globe in 1920. His pickup line is probably, you can never have too much steward in you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you can never have too much stew. <laughs> Dude, how are you getting such normal articles? I, the first thing that pulled up is a book called Mother Teresa, Saint or Celebrity. And I'm like, that doesn't sound fun either. Is it a stub? Yes, it's it also like a, a stub. Okay, yeah. then look for a more full article, please. Is that John Hamm? Okay, no, we're doing this one, yeah. Um, so, uh, Confess, comma, Fletch. A 2022 action crime comedy directed. Uh, oh, Confess Fletch. Yeah, I saw the yeah. I saw the trailer for this. Yeah. It has John Hamm. Wow. Okay. So from Archibald Stuart McLaren, a aerial circumnavigator from the 1920s to a comedy drama from 2022. Is John from Hamm the 2020s. British? No. From the 2020s. No. The 2020s. Why is he? All right. No, John. So, John Hamm's American. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's American. like the guy from Mad Men. Yeah. World Flight Three, begins. two, one. Go to not references. Go time. World Flight not beginnings or begins. Yeah. References. World Flight. No, oh, we're not allowed to use. No, we can't use references. Oh, damn it. References. Sorry. References take you straight to the article itself. Yeah. Well, there's not a lot to pick from here. There is not. The Bering Sea, maybe. Mm. Maybe take us to the Americas. Yeah. There you oh, go. There you go. Uh, can it go straight to the United States? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So that's two. We're doing pretty good. How do we get back to films? <laughs> California. I, I mean, Wait, I'm sure. actually, California wouldn't be bad. Yeah. Hold on. Literature and visual arts. Visual arts. Cinema, and theater. Cinema of the United States. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's three. Cinema of the United States. There we go. Okay. Um. Oh, I wish we knew who made the movie. Dippy, you saw the trailer. Do you know who made the movie? No. <laughs> I confess, Fletch. You said. Yes. Contemporary cinema. Hmm. Hmm. Twenty twenty one. COVID nineteen pandemic. Black Widow at Sony. AMC Theaters? No. That would Warner Brothers do. Picture? Is that one of the things? Was it? It, it? I mean, it's taking a wild guess as to what studio made Confess Fletch. Yeah, I, mean, I don't think. Going I wonder. To this hold on. The way to go. Would going. Well, Bob Chapek, Disney CEO, has John Hamm worked with Disney recently? Hmm. John Hamm is the guy in the progressive commercials. Yes. Oh, like, actually, can we just think of any other, like, can we just think of, like, like, look at the studio and think of any other John Hamm movie? I can't off the top of my head. I can't think of any. I can only think of God, imagine if John Hamm is in, like, this list of stars. Oh, yeah. please. Uh, oh, God. I would love for John Hamm to Jack, do some. give us John Hamm movies. Can I help? Yes, please help. Yes, absolutely. Rise of the Modern Blockbuster. Robert Rodriguez. Paul Thomas Anderson. He was in Mad Men. Tarantino. He was in the Mad Town. Men. Bill and oh, he would have been a series. Tag? What? Oh, Tag. Tag. Oh, Tag. That was a good movie with Ryan Reynolds. Uh, Which you could probably get to Ryan Reynolds through Disney. So he was in mm -hmm. Mad Men. The Town. This is basically going to turn arm, into... And did he tag. work with Tom Hanks? Did he work with Tom Hanks? Uh... I know he wasn't any of those. He's in Good Omens. Did he work with Fox Searchlight? He was in Fargo, The Morning Show. Fargo? I think so. Fargo. Was he in Artemis Fowl? No. Was he in Birds of Prey? Absolutely not. Was he in <laughs> Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog? <laughs> was he in The Hunt? Or The Invisible, Invisible Man? Man? Dude, Invisible Man, underrated movie. That shit was so good. I loved The Invisible Did Man. Did you? The Invisible oh Man was god. so good. Yeah. Oh my god, more people have to see it. It was incredible. Superhero genre? Superhero mm. film? He hasn't been in any superhero movies I can think of. No. Ocean's like, he's kind of straight cast. away. Oh crap. That's the cast of Ocean's Eleven. Brad Pitt, George Clooney, Matt Damon, Andy Garcia, Julia Roberts, Steven Soderbergh. I, I don't know. 
No, I don't think that's... Casablanca, Austin Powers... No, these are all... Like, Space this Jam. Is all contemporary shit. I'm just, oh, trying, I'm just looking surely. at every movie title and seeing if I recognize Emma? Him. He wasn't an Emma, was he? No. 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 Uh, Gladiator. Spider Man. Unbreakable. Moulin Rouge? No. Musical films. No. Chronicles of Narnia. Star Wars prequels. Pirates of the Caribbean. Harry Potter. Lord of the Rings. Come on! Did he work with Tom Hanks? Surely he worked with so. Tom Hanks. The King's Speech. He wasn't in the King's Speech. The artist? The English patient? Oh, wow. He was in Modoc. What is that? Uh, it's a dog. It's, it's a oh, bad. Wait, Reservoir Dogs? Wait. He wasn't in Reservoir Dogs. No, was he? he wasn't. No. Clerks, Sex Lives and Videotape. I have not watched Sex Lives and Videotape, but I want to watch it at some point. I've never uh, seen it. Do the Right Thing, Spike Lee, Kevin Smith, Quentin Tarantino. He was in Barry? Did Did he Let's work with see. Sylvester Stallone? Did he work with Russell Crowe? Oh, this he work... dude's been in so many. Fun... Did he work he with Tom Cruise? Big mouth. John Hamm worked with Tom Cruise. Wait, didn't he? Oh, he's in John Baby Hamm Driver. New... John Hamm's in Baby Driver. I thought. Yeah. Wait, is John Hamm in the new Top Gun? Is he? Oh, please tell me wait. he's in the new Top Gun. That would make this so easy if we went to what? Tom Cruise. Ugh. Yeah, I'm no, he's answer, he's yeah. in the new Top Gun. Absolutely, yeah. Tom Cruise, Top Gun. Hold on, wait. Is he? Is the see, I was gonna say. Top Gun see Maverick. If there's... Yeah, he's in. He's Buddy in uh, Baby Driver. He I love worked, that movie. He worked too. with Kevin Spacey. But we have Top Gun Maverick here too. Yeah, I... and which who? Yeah, who? John Hamm was in Top Gun Maverick. Okay, Top Gun. Ham. John Hamm. Woo! And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, what movie are we looking for? Confess Flesh. Confess there we go. Flesh. There we go. Confess Fletch! Okay. Six wow. clicks! D six? Hold on, wait. Yeah, let me look. Whoop. We had started in Archibald Stewart McLaren. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to get to Confess Fletch. Oh, yeah, I keep, I keep forgetting to click so the last seven, Yeah, seven yeah, clicks. The last click does count. Mm -hmm. Yes. But that was seven clicks to mm. get from... Archibald Stewart, whatever the fuck his name was, Archibald Stewart McLaren to Confess Fletch. Oh. That's incredible. Which I now feel like we need a Dapper D's watch party for Confess Fletch. We do, mm. honestly. I know nothing about this movie. Uh, can we get like a <laughs> I'm sorry, summary? I know it has what? John Hamm. Do we have what? Uh, do we have like a summary that we can read? Uh, Confess Fletch is a 2022 American crime comedy film directed by Greg Modela, who also co-wrote the screenplay with Zev Barrow. Based on Gregory McDonald's 1976 novel of the same name. Why is it that it like, is... directors have oh, like, the most... It's the third installment in the Fletch series with Fletch, Fletch Lives. I've never heard of this those before. This is the third They're Fletch old, movie. old movies. Oh. It was released, limited theatrical release and on premium video demand before a Showtime premiere on October 28th, 2022. It received generally positive reviews. It could be on HBO if it's on Showtime. Uh, probably on Paramount Plus. That would be my guess. Probably. Oh, Jason Sudeikis is in this too. I can I just say how much I love Jason Sudeikis. Oh, he's he, great. Yeah. He's been he like I watched um, I've watched the first season of Ted Lasso in its entirety, and it's yeah. such a great show. What's the movie called again? Fletch something. What? Confess, Confess Fletch. Fletch. I mean, but would we really be able to watch the threequel to Fletch and Fletch Lives without watching Fletch and Fletch Lives? Yeah. <laughs> we'll find that out together. All right. No, it's not on HBO. This and is a stub. <laughs> the, it is a stub with a couple of good starting points, but it is a stub. Dharam Singh, field hockey. <laughs> Born in 1937. It does not say he is 85 years old. This man is still alive. Good he won a you. gold medal at the 1964 Tokyo Olympics. That's pretty cool. Wow. The man's done That's incredible. two incredible things in his life. He's And he's and still you know alive what? to brag about them. You know what? <laughs> All right. He deserves it. Fucking I can read damn. the whole article. Dharam Singh, born October 30th, 1937, is an Indian field hockey player. He competed in the men's tournament at the 1964 Summer Olympics and was part of the team that won the gold medal. 
one reference, one thing he did, perfect. Like, like you couldn't have yeah, a much better gold career. In Bangkok. Neat. At the Asian Games. All right, my first non-stub. Mm-hmm. Bradford, Rhode Island. Radford Ryland? Bradford, 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 Rhode Island. Bradford, Rhode Island. Okay. Brad B. Bradford. B. B. Bradford. Bradford. B. Bradford. 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 Rhode Island. All right. Bradford. 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 All right. Um, sounds like a plan. Daram Singh to Bradford, Rhode Island. Field hockey we would probably it. get you somewhere there. Like Summer Olympics. What else do you have to get us there? All right, three, men's two, tournament, probably one, two. Go. We have field hockey. We have India. We have Summer Olympics. We have men's tournament as well. Summer Olympics. We have Olympic Games. We have team competition. We have the 1964 okay. Tokyo Games. And we probably have, do like, Summer Olympics. Go to nope, America. That's the field hockey tournament. I would say yeah. Yeah, or yeah. India. Go to America. I think Summer Olympics has a better yeah, shot. Yeah, Summer Olympics has a better, yeah, quicker shot. All right. Okay, and then you can go to participating or gold medals, I guess. Participating. Ah, here we go. Yeah, United, United States. States again. All right, yep. here we go. This is oh, probably going to be our quickest one. Now, how do we get from the United States to Rhode Island? Ah, uh, the states uh, list. Where would it be in here? Geography. Names yeah, of geography. the United States. I mean, yeah. But, like, I'm sure under history, you can also find Rhode Island, because it's one of the original colonies, right? Yeah, there's a whole 13. other article for it. There's a oh. whole other article for it. Okay. Uh, Mississippian first inhabitants, Siberia, Algonquin languages, Great Lakes, Colonial America. Here we go. Okay, yeah. Coastal New England? New England? That would, that would go to New England, but is Rhode Island here? Yeah, I was gonna say let's look for something Rhode Island adjacent. Yeah, Virginia colonies. colonies? Oh, shit. The Virginia colonies is that Wait, was that? was Rhode Island even a part of the Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah, okay. Alright, was there, it's part Rhode of the Island why part we of the have original the uh I can't believe I almost finished saying that. Was Rhode Island part of the original thirteen colony? <laughs> okay, to be fair though, it fucked me up that New Hampshire's not. Like <laughs> Okay. What? Is or is it Vermont? Oh, thirteen colonies. Right Vermont's there. not. New Hampshire yo, is yo, Vermont. Yo, okay. Thirteen colonies. You can click on that and then boom. Yeah, uh, but like again, we're trying to see if we can get yeah, yeah, yeah. Right Rhode, Rhode Island, Island without yeah, 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 whatever. Okay, Delaware River, no. Oh, that's, that's in Delaware. Civil War. No, Industrial Age, no. Cold War, no. Twenty first century. Rhode Island, oh, please God. let us know it's what you've 9 done. It's nine eleven. Get away! Get away! It's nine eleven. <laughs> Wait, God. Rhode Island, please they let are, us know what you've done. Doing... What? It said Rhode Island, please let us know what you've oh. done recently. Okay. Nothing. Rhode Island is a shit boring state that I live next to, unfortunately. <laughs> it's rough, buddy. Oh my god. That's rough, buddy. I actually, I go to New Rhode Island a lot. Mm -hmm. Y'all have good rock climbing gyms and, um. Military. That's about That's it. About it. <laughs> Why the fuck is it so hard to just find the state of Rhode Island just in do the, the article about colonies. America? Because nobody Surely. fucking likes it. Nobody fucking lives in Rhode Island. It's the <laughs> smallest state with the longest name. Because oh, everyone's like, oh, oh, oh. no, oh. that's metropolitan oh. areas. Shit. Oh my god. Oh please, D we can't, we we can't go through this entire article and there not be Rhode Island at all. Well, I mean, if you slow the Fast fuck movie? down. <laughs> Sports? Yeah, Rhode Island's full name is the state of Rhode Island and province of plantations. What the hell? What? Are you? Yeah, you, oh you gotta be gosh. fucking joking. No, me. I, I'm Who's serious. Who's that because, fucking yeah. full of themselves? I know, right? <laughs> there has to be something that just says Rhode Island. Surely. Is Rhode Island really not that important enough? Is Rhode Island <laughs> not a real state? Rhode Island, Zippy's gonna are have you to a change his state? Discord bio. Please. Rhode Island, are you a real state? Please respond. Please respond. <laughs> please, Rhode Island, please respond. Okay, 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 fine. I'm gonna click on the 13 colonies. 
Rhode Island Royal Charter. Oh God. No, please. This okay. might not even get us right to Rhode, Rhode Island. Island. Here we Rhode go. Island. Here's Rhode Island. There we go. Rhode oh Island. my God. The colony of Rhode Island and Providence Plantation. Told ya. Was one of the original 13 colonies. One of its Providence oh, is Providence, Providence Kent, Island. and King. When it became yep. the state of Rhode Island. Oh, so we have oh. to do another click for the okay. state of Rhode Island. Shit. Okay. Well, here we are in Rhode All Island. Right. Now we're looking for Bradford. Bradford, Rhode Island. God. I mean, surely. 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 It just has surely to be with, like, the geography towns. of Rhode Island is such that it's not, that the like, cities and towns. Here we go. Oh, oh no. no. The 19 largest municipalities. There oh. weren't 20. They couldn't find 20. They had to do the top There 19. were not 20. Providence, Cranston, Warwick, Pawtucket. Oh, yeah. I f we all forget that Family Guy takes place in Rhode Island. Yeah, that's why it's yes. so funny. Yes, it does. <laughs> it doesn't. The Pawtucket brew. They made up. Yeah. They made up Rhode Island for the show. <laughs> Rhode Island for the show. Listen, <laughs> if it wasn't for Family Guy, Rhode Islands would be like, like Rhode Island would be completely like just. Dude, nobody would give I a shit. I I popped onto the fucking so on the Wikipedia page. Its census has fourteen hundred people. Fourteen hundred people. That's a so, small oh town. God. I will. I will give. Oh. I will. Oh, Bryant University. S Brown University. Providence College, Rhode Island. Brown College. University is in Rhode Island. Does is is Bra does Bradford uh, have one of these universities? And I don't think so. Let me double no. check. List of colleges, Rhode Island schools. No, local accent. Some Rhode Islanders speak with a distinctive non-Rhodic, traditional Rhode Island accents. Hmm. Oh, the Yankee dialect. Right. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> so oh, right. Those in popular culture <laughs> the Farrelly brothers and Seth MacFarlane depict Rhode Island in popular culture making comedic parodies of the state MacFarlane's serious family guy is based in a fictional Rhode Island city named Cohawk it is in the Washington County of Rhode Island Washington County yeah government oh my goodness wow uh, this is not helpful this is very much not helpful Notable people. See also index of Rhode Island Lovecraft related. Is from Rhode Island. Yeah, of course wow. he's from Rhode Island. Uh, See, of course. I how else? Do. How else do you think he would have come up with such incomprehensible horrors beyond our <laughs> imagination? He, he lived That's in fair. Rhode Island. <laughs> that is fair. This, this is turning into a Rhode Island hate piece, and I and I hate that it's. Wait, what county did you say? Washington County. There we go. Oh, come on. That's because there's only three counties in Rhode Island. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're not wrong. It's Providence King in Washington. <laughs> okay, here we go. Community. Oh, towns. Bradford. Bradford. Bradford, Rhode Island. Oh, my God. <laughs> a, a census designated place and historic district in the towns of Westerly and Hopkinton in Washington County, Rhode Island. The population was 1,406 at yep. the 2010 census. <laughs> oh my god, it's not even on the coast. It's that close to the coast and it's not there. No, it like, sucks. That's hilarious. Oh my god. Ooh. Thank you very much. Everybody say hello to my mother, who is- Hello! Guest appearance. Hi! So, mm. thank you so much. Mm -hmm. The other one's not a sweet bread. It's a smooth bread. It's dry. Right. Okay. Fair enough. All right. So we're waiting I'm, for Don. While we're waiting for Donald. While I'm waiting for Donald, I'm making an edit to this Wikipedia page. <laughs> Please don't tell me. What are you doing? I'm just going to add endpoint for Dafferty's on every single. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Amen. All right, dig in. All right, we we can, so, we can get a new. new so the go. fun thing, fun thing yeah. while we're while we're waiting for Dono still, um, we went to a local, um, Oriental market. It's called Kim's Market. 
and it has a lot of like Asian imports and stuff in it, right? We yeah. found this sauce called Kikoman Sweet Soy Glaze. Okay. And we have put it on to chicken and cooked it to see what it tastes like. Mm. Because I've never seen Kikoman Sweet Soy Glaze in stores. Okay. So What's going on? Um, oh, while you were gone, my, my mother brought me dinner. It is, we Very have nice. found... Kikoman sweet soy glaze in an international market mm. and we applied it to chicken and cooked it to see what it would taste like. Good. So. Mm. I I pulled up a random Wikipedia article and it is a nub. It is a very small nub. Mm. But it is a movie that contains meatloaf. We're not going to do this because it is there is nothing. There is nothing it's a stub. going on in this article. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Urban Decay. A cab driver Stam slams into a homeless man who gets up and walks away, leaving behind a scarf covered with maggots. Obsessed with the mystery, Stan hunts down the figure through the city, discovering a trail of half-eaten victims in an urban legend. Um, what in the world? Parents warn their children that uh, there is a zombie apocalypse coming um, and will we get out of the streets alive but as the body count rises Stan finds that the legend is alive and hungry and um, that decaying cab that decaying guy that's the first zombie that's Meatloaf wow that's simply incredible rest in peace Meatloaf you will be missed R.I.P. I love Meatloaf hmm Bye, oh. Stealthy. Stealthy! Come on. Over the chat. How's it going? I'm going to pick a different one. This this is even too small for us to even work with. Wow. Mm. Endel Rikan was an Estonian sport shooter. He was born in Riga. Graduated from a state industry school in Estonian. He began his shooting career in 1932. He won four medals at the ISSF World Shooting Championships. But no gold medals in the Olympics, so he doesn't matter. 1943 to 1944, he participated on the Continuation War in Finland. He died in 1944 in a battle near Narva. Oh. So sad. sad. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Endel Rikon. <laughs> so, I, I swear, just clicking the random button a couple times, trying mm -hmm. to find a good one. This mm -hmm. is sincerely the page that popped up. Mm -hmm. List of NASCAR race wins by Richard Petty. You're joking. I am not joking. I don't even we know who Richard Petty is. We could do it from here is. because this is sports. We could easily get to... All right, boys. Dippy is, Dippy is ready. I I'm going to try. The... Dippy? Endel Recond to Listen, list of wins by Richard Dadly, Petty. Dadly, here's the thing. We just leave this to Dippy. He's not allowed to get our help on this one. Is oh, no, it should be the other way around. Me and Don are the only ones to do it. Dippy's not allowed to talk, and we just slowly start seeing a face pop out of his head. I love that idea more. Three, two, one, go. I am going silent. Oh, God, shit. no. Okay, um, well. This, oh, and great. so did Dono, apparently. <laughs> My daughter is singing in the background. We Copyright it. strike. <laughs> yeah, she's going to get smooth my groove. All right, I guess let's just go to the ISF, ISSF World Shooting Champion. What else is there to click? I... One. Yes. <gasps> um... <laughs> Man, NASCAR is not an Olympic sport. It's yeah. not. But it is a sport, <laughs> isn't it? Is NASCAR a sport? Is NASCAR Nas real? NASCAR is a sport. NASCAR is a sport. What makes it a sport? Is it the endurance holding your bladder? Real <laughs> feeling. <laughs> Uh, yes, maybe. Actually, genuine question. Is NASCAR considered a team sport? Or is it, like, an individual sport? Kind like, of. It, it's kind of? Okay. Dippy, you're not allowed to talk. <laughs> um, scroll down. Eat your food. Mm -hmm. Scroll down. Mm -hmm. We could just pick a country. I guess. We could. Just Isn't he, like, a United States? Yeah, no, he's definitely the, he's just in NASCAR. Yeah. 
Special shotgun running targets. Trap, skeet, double Oh, that's trap. why yeah, NASCAR is in the Olympics. It's just United States. Yeah, the other countries do, like, F-150 and stuff like that. I don't remember exactly. I... Okay, two things. Number one, you're thinking of Formula One, which is F-1. And two, F-150 is a truck. <laughs> is a Ford F-150. We're great at this. Um, I am dying inside and loving it at the same time. Go ahead. Keep, keep going. Double tap I'm, seems like a great... <laughs> Dude, I was just about to say double trap. I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> what is a double trap? Um, I think. Oh, it's a type of shotgun. Oh, okay. You want to just click United States? Yeah. All right. Hmm? United it's, States. Uh, it's down on like the bottom list on the right. There's a uh, no like go. Uh, hmm. Oh. Yeah, sure. Yep. That's three, I believe. Yes. No, that's two clicks. That's two. Yes. You've gone to shooting championships in the United States. Culture and uh -huh. society. Can you bring us to there? On the side. Oh, Ooh. 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 I'm mentally ill. <laughs> Ooh, I'm mentally ill. <laughs> sports. Sports. Hey, okay. I'm sports sports. Sports, sports in the sports. United States. Uh, American football, basketball, volleyball, auto skateboarding. Racing. Auto hey, racing. look at that. Uh, most watched Daddy. individual sports. Golf, auto racing. Yeah, auto racing. NASCAR. NASCAR is right there. Daddy, oh, NASCAR. Daddy, yeah. Daddy. Three. Daddy. Yes, baby. I want to go bed. Okay. You want to go to bed? Mm -hmm. Okay. You want to just cuddle on me? Yeah. Driver safety, criticism, NASCAR.com. I can scroll in just a little second. I'm cutting up my chicken. No. Move okay. <laughs> Bootleg whiskey. Uh, why doesn't it have like a list of racers? It might have a list of racers somewhere. So, this man raced in the 1960s. Okay. I don't even have to scroll anymore. You could find him. Could I really? Mm -hmm. Oh, is he in here right now? I forgot to hang. <laughs> Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. The thing that's different about Nope. I keep getting Richard ads. Penny. Petty. This is invigorating stuff, folks. <clears throat> okay, I, I feel like you should help us at this point. No. Okay. This is Richard Petty's car. Oh. Is it really? That's Doc Hudson. <laughs> Oh my God! Okay, it is well, Doc still Hudson. Not, we're still not there yet. No, Doc Hudson is the fabulous Hudson Hornet, who was a different driver. He's based on Joe Weatherly, but we're not gonna oh, okay. mention him. I mean, I still, at I least still not right now. I still think we should okay, do like so a scene by scene reaction full thing? to cars one day. Uh, yeah. List of top. Li what is the actual list of NASCAR wins by Richard Petty? Okay, so achievements are right there. On the side. Um, Career awards, close call, sponsorship, Petty as a broadcaster. Ooh, good for him. Oh. Yeah. Awards. Uh, oh. What? And there it is. Hey, yep, there we go. Race wins by Richard Petty. Hey, we got that. There you go. I think that's five clicks. Yeah. 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 One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Yep. There oh, you go. Five, five clicks. clicks. I. Thought I was gonna be dying inside that whole time, but you actually did okay. I took it I seriously. Only to, and... I only had to seriously help you one time. Yeah. Twice. We almost clicked auto racing, and I see Dippy's <laughs> mouse just slowly scrolling to NASCAR. You <laughs> almost had him click on the auto racing. I'm like, no NASCAR. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, one, two, three. Uh, Dippy, uh, one minute NASCAR. Go. Oh shit. Well, he's eating. That's mean. Um, so someone in chat literally said weekend, it should happen. <laughs> okay, so the race this past weekend it was at the oh, 
fuck. It was at Atlanta Motor Speedway. And it got reconfigured recently to race like a super speedway. Uh, it's a mile and a half track with increased banking in the corners and long straightaway or, or like narrower straightaways. And it got repaved and everything. And everybody loved the reconfiguration. Just kidding. Almost nobody loved it. Um, it races like Daytona or Talladega does, but in a mile and a half. So they shortened the race from 500 miles to 400 miles. And Joey Logano was an out and out leader. And like right away, he was doing really, really well leading the race. In the second part of the race, there was a little bit more jockeying around the field, but in uh, in general, it was still kind of Team Penske's day to lose, day to win or lose. Um, there were a couple of incidents later on in the race that would lead to like a green flag run that um, put Brad Keselowski fighting with Joey Logano in the lead, but eventually. Uh, Joey Logano made the outside pass on the last green flag lap to win the Three, race two, right in front of Brad Keselowski, one. making his first Done. win of the year. Woo! That was and one minute NASCAR. It. All right. How pertinent, considering <laughs> the article that we ended up on. My daughter mm. We love it. We love it. So, oh, shift X. St. Oh, Nicholas Church in Normanton. Hmm. All right. Okay, and I'm googling the how to pronounce right now for this person thing, um, and it's not giving me anything. Hmm. Alrighty. What? Where is it? Okay, Luigi Marchelsi. Marchesi. Hmm. Um. And I need to clarify, there are three different Luigi Marchese's. We oh, are wow. not looking for the painter, and we are not looking for the soldier. Mm. We are looking for the 1754-born Italian Castro singer who is the most prominent and charismatic to appear in Europe during the second half of the 18th century. He sing he His singing was praised by the likes of Mozart and Napoleon. Wow. And we are starting in St. Nicholas Church, Normanton, a redundant Anglican church in Normanton on Cliff, Lincolnshire, England. And this and is the an National artist, Heritage right? List for or England. No, he's a singer. He's a singer. He's a, yeah, a singer. More specifically, an Encastro singer? Yes. Doesn't that mean that he had his balls chopped off to make his voice permanently higher? I don't. I'm pretty I sure I watched a video where. I've heard th that before. What? It's something I think I heard one time that, like, he he wanted to or he or his parents wanted to have a higher voice so that he would get chosen for specific roles in operas so they just chopped his balls off and made it so that his voice could no longer develop any longer past the point that they chopped him off so okay i i st nicholas church to that's not even how it Luigi works Marchese. <laughs> that's uh, not how that works all right so 3 <laughs> <laughs> no, no. What? Hold on. I am on the Wikipedia for Castro singers right now. It oh, is a sorry. style of singing uh, that is primarily used prior to puberty. Um, and okay. it became famous from famous singers never hitting puberty. Uh, yeah. Malnourishment yeah. back in the day never like just led to some men never hitting puberty. Yeah, exactly. Right it happens, so, and then with... and then some of them got that way because they got their balls chopped off. Um, That's not how it works. <laughs> um, also, your balls and your vocal cords aren't so, connected. <laughs> fun fact. Uh, so, so, fun fact with the not hitting puberty thing, uh, women can go through that by working either too hard. Now a lot of gymnasts, ballerinas, and stuff like that. Now, like suffer from that from hmm. having to be Rude like either well. so light like or working so yep. much at a young age that they can't develop uh, men can deal with it now if huh. you let boys like weight lift too early in yep. life um it can stunt their growth and make it so they don't grow correctly yeah uh, uh yeah so make sure that you're taking care of yourself and take rest and relax don't uh push yourself too hard or else you won't develop. Well, there you go. So, starting right. at St. Nicholas, ending on Luigi Buttress. Muschietti. I say we click buttress because I like that word. Three, two, one. Uh, where? I have um, no idea what you're talking about. Buttresses. buttresses. No, wait. I'm just joking. 
a buttress. I was joking. <laughs> Why do you uh, take you me too seriously? Too late. Too late. A flying well, buttress. Where could we go? Flying buttress. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's we... a whole Wikipedia page for the word wall? Yeah. Uh, Just wall. A wall is a structure and a surface that defines an area, carries a load, provides security, shelter, or soundproofing. All right, that should be like our last one. <laughs> Just I think it will be. Because we've got I think two it shows. We got two episodes now. Yeah. Okay. So where where are we? Th where are we going? <laughs> we going? But Milan so. Cathedral. Oh, actually, yeah, that might be yeah, a good idea. Actually, in Italy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Milan, Lombardy, Italy. Okay, so we can get to Italy, but is there a better thing that we yeah. can do for uh, Mario or Luigi Cassetti? Uh, Did you just fucking say Mario? <laughs> it's me, I'm Mario. Oh my god, that's why his voice is so high. It's ball for chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> and no wonder Peach keeps getting kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll see myself out. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that oh, was really please. good. Oh, I'm crying. <laughs> clip, 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 clip it. I got the clip. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's why. Why is it so high? <laughs> no wonder Peach keeps getting. <laughs> oh god! All right, where All right, where are we so going from here? This man was. 19 or 1754 to 1829. So oh boy, like a, it's Castro. What's the singing? What's the genre? Castro singer Napoleon. I Why mean, would Napoleon, Napoleon mention but praise him? But oh, I don't know. who's this? Luigi Vanni Van Vitelli. Who's that? He's a painter and architect. Oh, his name's Luigi. <laughs> no, <laughs> Luigi. He probably has a Mario somewhere. All right. Um, this is yeah, still we... the cathedral, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, I'm I'm curious if because like churches have a lot of music. I was curious if yeah. like, there might be like something about that. But right. I don't see it. Hmm. 17th century. Director of music. Huh? Where? Uh, Where? In the little uh, sidebar, up a little higher. Director of music, right there on the bottom. Wouldn't that be like the modern one though? But could musical we... director, um, organist, that guy does... yeah, no, archbishop. I no, I don't say that we click on any of that. But if there is more down, director that means of that music, we music maybe architect. Or uh, what about the that guy's name? Uh, oh wait, we can't. Click there's on a Mario. Page. Yeah, Mario. He's there's... a Mario. Oh, no. He's a Mario. Why is no, he also those wearing are the red and those has are the a funny modern. hat? Those are the modern people. He is an archbishop. Hmm. He's he is a he is a Roman Catholic archbishop. Uh, let's see. So he's not allowed to eat bacon. Got it. I'm gonna ignore that and <laughs> keep going, guys. I have faith in you. So does this church. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo, bravo. <laughs> so does this church. <laughs> I love the you delivery know, of that. That's not so how it works. Church. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Down. Uh, down. There's a list of something. Down. More. See, also. Uh, list of churches. Dark Souls. Dark, dark Souls. What? <laughs> this is a Dark Souls? Where? Okay. It's literally the top thing on the scene. Anna Orlando Dark Soul. Wait, what? what? That's so Excuse dumb. Excuse me? Excuse me? Wow. Okay. Um. I've got nothing. I don't. Care. I have no idea where to go. Uh. Oh. We're we're stuck. Do, um, we could click oh. Napoleon uh, because we could mention. Yeah. Uh, there's there's La Scala Theater. Luigi. What is uh, La Scala La Scala, the La Scala Theater? Inaugurated in 1778. Opera House. That is right in the time frame, and it's an opera house. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, fuck Napoleon. We don't need that bitch. Fuck, I would fuck Napoleon. 100%. No, you wouldn't. No, he's not. You I would, would not. He would kill you before you fucked him. 
he is so short. He Principal can't. conductors or directors of music premieres. Do you think like Napoleon was like a secret bottom, or just a grumpy bottom? No, he I don't was. Think it was he, a secret. Oh. I don't think it was a secret. <laughs> Okay, directors of music. You've got to give us when this guy was. I mean, I get. Uh, he was born 1754 to 1829. He 1829. made his debut in Rome in 1773. He joined the. Oh my God! Are you shitting me right now? What was the church we were just on? The Milan Cathedral. What? What? Biography. Luigi Muschel was born in Moline. He joined the Moline Cathedral Choir in 1765. All right, go back. So, music director, right? The, 1765? Oh, shit. How did we oh, stumble Luigi upon a Vanna random church that, like, this man How? was a part of? Oh, but we can't possibly like he sings in both productions um and was considered to be extraordinary uh, oh wait in both productions of what architecture and art see but no this is just about the cathedral itself like yeah. there's <clears throat> there's nothing about music in history the... of italian renaissance construction He's begins saying... history in productions of Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Oh. Right. He was on Mozart's beats. He was like featured. Mozart did, dropping them. Did any of that beats, did any please? of that debut in the La Scala Theater? No, I I can't no, I don't think so. No, he does it, it like the choir was his first singing gig. It's also his hometown. Mm hmm well then let's go then instead of that let's go to milan yeah milan oh People. man wouldn't it be incredible yeah hold on administration cityscape demographics oh wait it would be history wouldn't it oh i thought it'd be people 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 <laughs> people yeah there's a there's a people tag on the side oh people People. Honorary citizens. <laughs> oh. History mm. of Roman times. Middle Ages. Nope. Early modern. Oh, Pop my neck. oh Pop early good. modern is 1500. Late oh, modern. 1848. 1713. 1714. Okay. Oh, God. We're getting there. <laughs> We're in the wrong time. 18... <clears throat> 1848. Oh. My God. No. We gotta go to, like, culture? Media? Cuisine? Cuisine. Qu kid Risotto cuisine? Alla, risotto a la Malanese. That's mac and cheese made with rice. <laughs> Some Italian I don't is screaming you, to I don't you believe you're wrong. You're fucking idiot! <laughs> 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 you just see some Italian just being like, you're fucking imbecile. People. <laughs> we gotta get Rock over to here to yell at me. <laughs> now she'd probably be like, no, you're right. It's fine. It's kind of like that. Only it's made with this instead <laughs> wow you make rocks so much that nicer than she literature. really is she will scream at me fashion and design music and musical who's that guy giacomo puccini puccini these nuts i'm getting what <laughs> wow what? dude come on that's probably come a on, pickup man. line Come on. He doesn't have any. He wanted a single squeaky and high. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh please. Oh, Puccini, that that's even be. Oh wait, there's a there's a separate article called uh Music, Music of, of Milan. Milan? <gasps> La Scala. That's still the La Scala. Uh, Rosian chants. Museums. References. Oh, 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 oh. What a bad thing to go on. Wow. That has music the charts, Music Awards. Music Giuseppe Verdi. We could probably get the Mozart from Giuseppe Verdi. Probably. Hopefully. Giuseppe. Giuseppe Verdi. 
What a fun name to say. Empatapatura. Also, how have we not been able to find Mozart in all this? I know. You know that's what I'm looking for now. Mozart. I know. That's what I'm working on now. Oh, shit. I haven't checked Twitch in a hot minute. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I forgot we were live. I thought we were just playing. That's the best kind of lives is where wow. you forget that you're live. You're just like, oh, yeah, we're just playing. Wow. We can't. We can't find fucking Mozart anywhere. How many yeah. clicks are we in, by the way? I'm at seven. Oh. I've got but I also one, got two, ten. three, four. This would technically be five. Oh, okay. Yeah. I must have thought some clicks were just you still in the article. Like, yeah. Article. Um, kind of works. Legacy. Legacy. Paris Opera. Oh. Not we're oh. nowhere near Paris. Oh, good. Luigi Sicchin, 19. Luigi Secchi? An Italian sculptor? No. No, we're looking mm. for the singer. Okay. Totally ass backwards idea. Mm. Because the top of the Wikipedia article starts with if you're looking for Luigi Mischetti, the painter, go to this article. So if you find the painter or the soldier of Luigi Mischetti, Mischetti we'll also find him. Yeah. So I'm just going to look really quick. So the painter is I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to say opera. Just so we can get yeah. somewhere close to operatic voices. So just throwing this out operatic there. Operatic the voices. Wait. Is also the say. Oh, okay. Wait, operatic voices. Oh, wait, famous singers. And there's a picture of Mozart right there. The Castrato oh, Senesino. That's not Mozart. Oh, famous Castrato is the fucking thing that I'm thinking of. Is Castrato, not Cas... Whatever. Okay, wait. Castrati. Coloratura, Subret, Spinto. What range was this person's voice? Does it say? Uh... Probably like a high tenor. No, uh, it it just says cas castrato. It doesn't. That's what I'm saying. Like, is he was a castrato? castrato. Yeah, castrato. Yeah, right there. Okay, castrato. castrato. So, Ferinelli, Pacchiara, Pacchiara, Ferinelli. Oh God. Alessandro Moreschi. Y'all are killing His last me name is Moreski, right? Man. Yes. Stealthy! Stealthy! <laughs> Stealthy's all like, you gotta take a fucking rap. And like, getting on our asses. I'm like, damn it! <clears throat> you Stealthy making fun of us? Yeah. Noble, notable Castrati. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, here, oh, we, go. here we go. Here we go. Oh, what was his last oh. name again? My, something. My, my, my gosh. Luigi Marchese? Luigi Marchese! We did it! Oh my god! Holy we crap! It. We it. Holy crap! That took way too long. Seven. Luigi Ludovico Marchesi right. was born in Milan. He joined the Milan Cathedral Choir in 1765. We found that church, we and found we were the still Cathedral like three so clicks quick. away. Oh, god. seven clicks. All I right. Think. That one well, got really rapid. My count: <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Okay. Eight. We've got a solid. Here. Hour and fourteen minutes. So okay, so, there we go. Dippy wants to or Donna wants to wrap up. All right. I so two we're... short episodes of the Dapperties today instead yeah. of one long one, and I think we can all agree that two bite two size. is better than one. Yeah. At least in terms of <laughs> balls. <laughs> but we can also all agree that now that Dippy's here, three is better than two. Hey, thank you. 33% better. So. Next works? week, it'll just be me and Dippy. Oh, yeah. So let, so let me do this or end this sharing so that the stream is just us for a hot second here. Let me. Let me, let me. Oh, I don't have my can We have we have like just just a, just a little just a little something something planned possibly mm -hmm. for because it's only going to be me and Dadley. I thought, what have only me and Dadley done on the channel? And we have a special thing in mind, but you'll have to and wait. And we're not allowed to do that live, so we had to go to something else. <laughs> we, you'll have to wait till that's we get the, the Patreon. That's on special website that's that coming up, so. Yeah. That's a special episode that you'll How only How much chaos do you Patreon. want? 
I mean, we could also like get gas and do like a one page. Stealthy, do you want to do? We could. Do you want to come in next week? <laughs> but me and Dippy already had an idea. We have an idea. Oh, but there's two Mondays you're gone, right, Dono? There are two Mondays he's gone. No, I'm. I come back the next Monday. Oh, that's there's right. Two weekends I'm gone. No, he's visiting me on the weekend before that Monday. Oh yeah, that's right. All right, so because I've been wanting to play some one page RPGs for a hot minute, so. <laughs> This Monday, Dippy still, uh, me and Dippy still have our idea that we have planned. Yes. Mm-hmm. Next Monday, the Monday after that. Which means third. that we will also not have a podcast episode. Mm. Oh. Rough. We can do the podcast episode at the beginning of April, mm-hmm. and then, like, when Dono's back. Or you guys can do a podcast episode without me. I don't know. We um, could do a podcast episode. Actually, wait, how do we feel about doing another DMs roundtable? Grab Stealthy and, like, somebody else. All right. Yeah. And get Stealthy. Unless, D- D- get... Dippy, you could also be, you could also put your foot down and say, hey, this idea has me very excited and I want to do it because I'm dead. I do, I do kind of really like the idea that I pitched before we ran okay. we ran it back for the second half of this episode. Okay. I do like that idea. Then let's plan for the third to be a DM's roundtable again. All right. Let's plan for another one of those. Yeah. All right. I'm done with that. that to, make up for the, to make up for yeah. the lack of a mm-hmm. podcast, podcast episode, episode, we'll do a DM's yeah. roundtable. Um, so, Stealthy, we will formally ask you on Discord. Um, yes, you can't absolutely. do podcasts without Donna. That, that, that makes me feel very loved. Not primal. <laughs> so they yes, could totally can. do it absolutely. without me. I can do a podcast by myself. I talk a lot. You do. So on that note, no. next episode will be me and Dippy just kind of doing something. Doing a little we... something something. Doing a little something something. And until next time, I've been life Dippy. Advice? Life advice. Oh, oh yeah. Life advice. Don't jump into things too early. That's my life advice. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Perfect explanation. Dono? I just took a bite or something, but... <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Uh, my life advice is... um. I know singing high pitch sounds cool. You'll like your balls more. Give your balls a talk, bud. <laughs> give it give your balls a talk. Give your balls a talk, bud. Oh god. Oh, yeah. Your mom shot so far across my room, she got it in the fish tank and fuck with the pH level. Oh my god. Still you know, on that, find someone that'll not do you good. <laughs> or be and good on that you. Fine. I'll treat you so good. Yeah, be so <laughs> good to you. Be so good. In the morning, there I am, being good. Oh, that fine Dadly. note. I've been Dippy. I've been Dadly. And I'm always Dono. And until next time, your adventure matters. Stay dapper. Oh, bye. And roll, roll for initiative. <laughs> <laughs> bye. <laughs>